All right, welcome to the Cymax channel. Today I'm going to talk about some work I've been doing on integrating OpenAlex, GitHub Actions, Emacs, and Zotero as a way to get literature alerts for new papers that are identified by, by OpenAlex. So there is a um, package here that I call literature alerts, and it's uh, we'll go through the um, GitHub repo in, in a little bit. But the gist of this, uh, this one is that we're going to create some files, some YAML files that are uh, queries. And a query might look uh, like this down here. So these are going to have um, a label, a description, and then these filters are going to be used by uh, some Python codes that run queries on OpenAlex. And so I have a bunch of these set up for Emacs and org mode, for oxygen evolution, papers that I wrote, uh, some CO2 capture, liquid metal, um, and some other ones, papers by people in the Department of Chemical Engineering. So I made a whole bunch of, of interesting uh, to me uh, filters that I want to run on a regular basis. All right, so, so we're going to have um, some YAML files. There, there's a Python package that exists in here called LitAlerts, and it's going to run on a GitHub action schedule. So, so let's look at uh, LitAlerts first. This has a couple of different packages in it. Maybe the first one we'll look at is the CLI. So the CLI is a command line interface that uses click, and this is going to create a function that simply reads the the file the query file here and then for each topic it's going to get the results uh, for the last uh, since since days and then I write out a couple of different um, formats org mode markdown and RSS so we'll see uh, what those look like uh, on github and there is um, a simple library here so here is uh, is the basic part of, of OpenAlex. You need an API key to use the uh, the since action or since piece. So I store this as a GitHub secret, and then the rest of this is just constructing um, API calls and using the request library to get the data and accumulating it. There's some other code in here for getting an abstract and getting org authors, markdown authors, um, and other authors so that we can make citations. Uh, in there. And uh, then there's uh, a Zotero command line uh, tool that I uh, also created. And this will take those results and, and actually push it to a Zotero library. So if you have um, set up your Zotero API down, uh, let's see, somewhere down here. So you have to set up uh, an, a Zotero key down here. And then you can push entries to a Zotero library. So I'll show you what uh, what those look like. Uh, otherwise, this one uh, is just for generating the RSS feed. Uh, so we get an item and we write an item, and this just writes it to a particular file. And what I want to show you next is how we run this through a GitHub action. So I have a uh, queries a scheduled here, uh, GitHub Actions. It runs on a cron job. So I run this uh, every night. And this uh, sets up a, an environment, installs the LitAlerts package. Here we get my open uh, Alex API key, Zotero API key. And then this is the action here. We run uh, LitAlerts. So LitAlerts is the uh, command line that is defined in the package. And here I uh, run every night, get the last seven days of, of items. Now that's a little bit overkill, uh, but I still don't 100% uh, know if I run it every day and only get things in the last day, uh, if there's some you know opportunity for missing things. So um, I just get, uh, get this every, uh, every day, the last seven days. So this runs in a GitHub action, um, and then I store the results in in the git repo, commit them and push them. And that's what uh, allows me to have a hosted RSS feed, org feed, um, and markdown feed. And this is the separate command that runs to push uh, articles for uh, written by Chemi faculty at CMU to a uh, public 
library in, in Zotero. All right, so that's sort of the package in a nutshell. Let's close all of these. And there's a um, couple of different things that uh, we can do with it. So let's look at, um, at our GitHub repo uh, next. So that is shown here. And what happens in here is um, there is an org, org directory. And the org directory has, uh, let's look at, I don't know, CMU Chemical Engineering. Uh, this shows us that there are three new articles in the last seven days uh, that have been published. You can, you can review them here if you want. You can also go to the uh, Markdown. Markdown has a, maybe a slightly nicer format for rendering in um, GitHub. And then there is, if you like RSS, uh, I was using Elfeed uh, for this for a little while. Uh, these are not all that interesting. These are just XML feeds uh, for that. Now, what is interesting is you can use uh, this raw link here and uh, use that as the URL in any RSS feed reader you want, and then you can consume uh, everything directly from GitHub. But what I actually uh, prefer to do is to use a command called cymax org feed. And so this is a command I run. You can see at the bottom, it's contacting GitHub. It is uh, downloading all of the, the org entries from that file that I showed you, and it's going to create a org buffer for me that I can use to consume my scientific literature articles. So it takes a little bit of time because there are 782-ish entries right now that I have not uh, gone through. But this is what I would typically do uh, if I wanted to uh, consume this thing. Um, I have um, all the powers of org mode, so with my cursor on this headline, I can just press N. And here, if I want to uh, read this or delete this, I'm going to delete this one. I just press D, and I can do that. And all of these will disappear. And you can see in the upper uh, left-hand corner uh, that it's updating the count. So I can kind of review these. I can archive these. These get stored in a uh, local... SQLite database so that I don't get uh, them um, again, but I can uh, actually search for all of the things that come through here later. So I have a couple of other shortcuts up here. If I want to archive it or delete it, I can refile it um, into another buffer. I can kill it and copy it somewhere else. And you see I have these labeled as to do, so eventually these show up as, uh, as tasks for me to uh, to work on um, for that. Uh, let's save and then kill. And the last thing I'll show you is uh, that there is a public um, Zotero database. So you can go um, here and you can see if you prefer uh, to see it in, in Zotero, you can see the Open Alex CMU Chemi faculty and you can sort these and copy them into your own uh, browser or, or own Zotero instance or uh, whatever it is you do uh, with Zotero. Now, Zotero is, a, is kind of an interesting project. In another video, I'll talk about an Emacs or Gref Zotero integration that allows me to use this database and insert citations into org mode files and then export them into LaTeX and PDF. But, uh, but I'll do that in another video another day. So that's a, a kind of a brief summary of, of the Lit Alerts project. You can find it on, uh, on my GitHub site, Literature Alerts. And the gist of it, again, you set up uh, some YAML files with some filters that get run through OpenAlex every night. And you can then consume new articles that come out uh, every day or two days uh, or so and so forth. I have in my uh, Cymax org feed file um, a reminder to check it every couple of days. Uh, but I've been busy, that's why there's 700 ish uh, articles for me to, uh, to review. That's it uh, for Cymax channel today. And sometime uh, another day, I will make a, a video about the OrgRef Zotero integration, um, which is Sort of a proof of concept, but works well enough that you could actually write a paper uh, if it wasn't too complicated with, with citations for it. So that's